on the Windows 10 privacy side, we've got some updates. Uh, it was inevitable that somebody would create an app. And so there's an app for that. Um, it's on GitHub called Disable Win Tracking. And um, it, it does four different things. Uh, so, so it's open source and it's been evolving. It's at version 1.5 now at, at, as it's being fine-tuned. And the author uh, states that he intends to add features to it as, we, as I said, as we sort of learn more about Windows 10. And so it's sort of a, a, a simple-to-run app. It's written in Python. And so you can, you can, if you've already got Python installed and one other requirement, there's, a, there, there's an additional library it requires, then you could just run the Python script uh, in order to, to make it go. But there is a, a self-contained executable that includes the Python runtime bound into the exe. So that's probably easier for, for most people to use. Anyway, so it, uh, it allows you to turn off what, what they call their telemetry services, which is sort of the background, how are you using Windows, what are you doing stuff. You, so so that's, that's one option. You can either de delete or disable the tracking services, there, there's radio buttons where you can choose to delete or disable. And I would just be happy with disabling for what it's worth. Dele there are two services, one called Diag Track Diagnostics Tracking Service and one called DM WAP Push Service, which is a WAP push messaging routing service. And I don't know, I don't think it makes sense to dis, to delete them. Um, I think, you know, disabling them, you know, people are disabling Windows services all the time. They stay disabled. So I would just say people ought to disable them so they could, if there was some need to re-enable them in the future, you could. Um, and you can disable uh, logging that is enabled uh, by certain trackers. Uh, anyway, so, uh, so a, a few features... Um, which are um, very simple to, to uh, disable using checkboxes. Uh, and I imagine we'll see similar things like this in the future. So I did want to mention that. Also, remember the people, there was a huge breach of, I think it was 13 plus emails that escaped. And a service was produced called isleaked.com. Um, and isleak.com, you could put your email address in and it would just do a search to tell you whether that email address was among those that were leaked in this massive breach. Um, these guys did a very nice kind of walkthrough guide. Um, and so their, their domain is fix10.isleaked.com which is sort of a summary of what, what <clears throat> excuse me, what you and I walked through uh, with our listeners last week, Leo. And by the way, we got a huge number. People love of that, yeah. Very positive tweets, uh, feedback from last week's, you know, walk through the, the privacy settings. And so fix10.isleaked.com. This is, is uh, screenshots I, of all the stuff we talked about, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's sort of the the it's ba ba basically screenshots and you know red circles around. You want to set this switch to this and this switch to that. So, and and maybe for people who are you know who who want some additional uh, information. Again, this is unfortunately there's there's an there's enough issue with Windows 10 privacy that we we're seeing lots of articles and sites and and now apps that are, are suggesting here's how you can do this.